Hey everybody, Kenneth Arthur here for the Field Goals YouTube Seahawks channel. It is Friday, March 1st, and I'm going to give you uh, and some updates on the Seahawks, uh, my favorite team, probably your favorite team, uh, because I love sports, and what's so great about sports is, you know, sort of like how I see most entertainment, it's a distraction uh, from some of the real problems that we have in our life, uh, in our lives. I mean, my problem is your problems. We all have problems, but sports are the great distractor, and uh, the Seahawks are a, a great distraction, especially now uh, that they can let you focus on football rather than the problems in your life. So let's just you know let's talk let's talk about the uh, updates uh, for the Seahawks, and then you know I'll mix in some updates about my life, uh, and we'll just see how that goes. So earlier this week, uh, you know the Seahawks. There was talk of Matt Flynn. Uh, they seem content to keep Matt Flynn, uh, even though he's being paid a lot as a backup. Because the Seahawks don't have to pay Russell Wilson very much money, it's sort of allocated that much money to the quarterback position. It's not very bad at all. The total amount of dollars going there is still significantly under $10 million, so they don't feel forced to trade Matt Flynn. However, I still think that as long as that elbow checks out in any physical, the Matt Flynn will get dealt to some team because he's just too valuable to have a quarterback that's capable of starting being a backup on another team, especially in this league where it's so important to have a quarterback. So I think Seattle could get themselves a nice middle round pick for Flynn, especially considering that Alex Smith drew two second round picks, perhaps, one for sure. So I think that's going to help Matt Flynn's value. So it's going to be something to look forward to in the next month. Um, in other news, uh, I packed a bag for the gym on Monday, and I put that in my car on Monday so that I could, you know, work out and try and get in better shape. Uh, probably put on, you know, a good 30 or 40 pounds. Why did I say 30? I know it's not 30. I'm just lying to you. Why, why do you care? You don't care. It's like at least 40 pounds uh, over the last year. So I figure, yeah, go in there, put the go to the gym five times, you know, three times this week, even if you just go two times this week. So I put it in there on Monday. It didn't move. I didn't touch it. I didn't go to the gym. It's still there. And I definitely ate some good food this week. I went to Taco Bell today. Um, so, in other news, uh, the Falcons, they made some big cuts today. John Abraham, Michael Turner, uh, Dunta Robinson. I think it's Dunta, 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 uh, Dunta Robinson. But none of those, those two guys aren't important. John Abraham might be interesting for the Seahawks. A uh, defensive end joins the, the likes of, say, Dwight Freeney uh, that might provide some value in that last go-around trying to get a ring. The Seahawks are going to be one of those teams that other players see as the possibility to get a championship. So, it could be a thing where they're going to talk to John Abraham. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Abraham had about 10 sacks last year. So, he might only have one or two years left, maybe maybe something like that. But, Seahawks might only need one year, especially when it looks like Chris Clements could be hurt into the season at the least. So, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see a guy like John Abraham brought in for a workout, a physical, something like that, it seems like a really good match. Um, I have to go to work tomorrow. It's Tonight's Friday, and I have to go to work tomorrow uh, at 8 p.m. I don't want to go to work, obviously. It's not my usual schedule. I work Monday to Friday, and they want to be there from 8 p.m. till probably 4 a.m., and there's not really much to do. They just need someone there. And I would be upset about that more so if it wasn't for the fact that I, I didn't have any plans. It might be Saturday. I didn't have anything to do. I'm a single bachelor, but I didn't have any plans on the Saturday night, so it's not like it's keeping me from anything. Um, so the draft is, you know, like two months away. Uh, there's a lot of mock drafts going around. What are the Seahawks going to do? Are they going to take a receiver? Um, <clears throat> are they going to take a defensive tackle, a defensive end, outside linebacker? There's a lot of ways that they could go, tight end. <clears throat> As I wrote today, I think that um, wide receiver is going to be one of the first two picks. That's what my gut is going to say. It's going to be one of the first two picks for Seattle. Make sure you go to fieldgoals.com and check out that article if you haven't already. Uh, if you look at the history, I think they're building somewhat. You know, we've been talking about it for 
a couple of years. I mean, ever since they got John Schneider, there's a seat, there's a definite Packers model going on here. So check that out. The Packers drafted a lot, draft a lot of wide receivers. They put a lot of value in that position. And Seattle is not prepared for anything that happens to Sidney Rice or Golden Tate. And I think that they're definitely going to get someone in there. There's a lot of deep talent that's going to be in that 25 to 60 range where Seattle has two picks. So I think that they're going to draft wide receiver. Tavon Austin makes a lot of sense, uh, but I don't know. We'll see. And finally, uh, earlier this week, I went on Craigslist and just searched in like East Coast, I was like, let me find a pen pal. And like, I, I emailed a lot of uh, girls that I put on ads, and I said, you know, let me be a pen pal. And I sent out a bunch of those emails, you know, it's a little message about me and attach a picture. And these, you know, these are some of the, like, when you get to Craigslist, that's like low. That's very low uh, on the lonely uh, totem pole. A lot of you read some of the message. I've never been there. Read some of the messages. It's insane. This is like, so I sent off some of those messages. Um, nobody responded. So that's been the news update for Friday, March 1st on the Seahawks. Uh, make sure uh, to go to the website, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, uh, at Kenneth Arthur S. Um, I thought I'd have more followers by now. But I don't pay attention to that stuff anymore. It's not going to happen. Uh, have a good night.